China was one of the early and more important players in the exploration of the world. China had great advancements. It was the most advanced culture in the, at least certainly in the Eastern Hemisphere, especially in terms of navigation. They had significant improvements in terms of their boats. They have tools like compasses. Their boats are more advanced. They have watertight hulls. They have all sorts of navigational tools that make them far superior to certainly Europe, but also any of the other advanced cultures in the rest of Asia or in Africa. The Chinese had different motivations for exploration than the Europeans. The Chinese were trying to expand a tribute system, and this was basically a system where they would bring back leaders from other cultures to honor their emperor and basically to see that China's doing so well and that China's the best. They also wanted to improve diplomatic relations, so they would go and create connections and relationships between the leaders of these other countries. They also wanted to show their supremacy. So they wanted to show that they were better than everyone else, but they were more interested in showing it than actually conquering other people. They were also trying to increase trade. So they're trying to get more goods, but more importantly, sell their goods to other people. They have enough of their own natural resources that they don't necessarily need products from other places but they want to expand the markets for their own goods that they have. The Europeans, on the other hand, are interested in the three G's. They're interested in gold and basically just the accumulation of wealth. So this would also include items to trade. They're interested in glory. Similar to the Chinese, they do want people to recognize how great they are. But their method of showing it is by dominating and destroying other cultures rather than bringing other cultures back to just see how great they are. They're also interested in God and sharing the word of God and spreading their religion throughout the world. The Chinese in the 1430s ended up withdrawing from the global world. So beforehand they had been very active. They had been certainly throughout Asia and Africa and possibly as far as the Americas. However, as a result of a variety of factors, the Chinese withdrew from the world. They stopped exploring, and they also burned all of the records of their travels, or at least all of the records that they could get their hands on. Some of them survived simply because they couldn't find them. So one of the reasons that they cut off trade was they thought that they were superior to other countries and would not gain anything of significant value from other countries. This was aided in part by the fact that they were able to sustain themselves. They were not as dependent upon trade as other regions like Europe. They also were experiencing financial problems. So traveling and creating these massive boats and these huge fleets of ships was extremely expensive. And so China is needing to save that money. They need to protect themselves from groups that are trying to invade in other parts of the world so they end up doing things like creating the Great Wall and they need money just basically to run their country and so they're not able to devote as much money to exploring the world. 